Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to service now 911. In the series of UI Builder, today we are at part 6 and in this we discuss about data visualization. Let's go to UI Builder. This is my page. This is my experience. Let me open the landing page. So first of all, what is data visualization? You see this is data visualization where we can see the data in the format we want and display it to the customer, to the user in a very, very good professional way. Okay, it's kind of reporting, you can say. So this is pie chart, you can have a number of charts. This is a, just a score and this is also a kind of score. Okay, so you see here, once I selected this, this is a component, it is also one of the component. Okay, so once I select this component, so what is the name of this component? Active incident score, you can see here, you can modify it from here. Okay, we all know this previously. Come to config part under component visibility, you see data visualization type and the type is single score. If I select this one, you see type is pie. So like this, you have a number of type, bars, pie chart, donut, pie table and many more. So like all other ways by which you can display data to the customer, to the user, like reporting, you can find all such types here. Okay, so let's click on this. So once I selected this, you see this is the type and then we have the data source from where the information is coming. Obviously information is coming via some table and that table is incident. Here we have only added static input. Click on this incident. You have the option to edit the filters here. Right now the filter is active equal to true. So that's what we are saying there. Okay. You have the option to change the table as well. Okay, everything is configurable here. So just click, close it. So after data source, you see here we have a matrix. So here you see the count is coming. The count is coming for all the incidents which are active equal to true. It is because of this matrix because we have added the matrices count. Click on it. You have the option to select the aggregation. Okay. All basic aggregations are available here, count, sum, average. So according to your requirement, you can select the matrix, whatever you want. After matrix, you have other options as well, additional setting. All these are self-explanatory. But the main thing is the type and the data source as well as the matrix. So by using these three, you can easily display the data as per your choice. If we come here under the pie chart, you see here again, data source is static, which is incident. And matrices again count as well as you see the group by as well because this is a pie chart we have the option to group by. So here we have grouped by this particular data by using active field that's why you see only false and true here because active can be either true or false. You can change the group by accordingly based on your requirement you have all the fields okay so you can change it accordingly. So this is all about data visualization you can do so whenever you get a requirement to create a particular dashboard it is very helpful there so now let me add one more thing here click add after let's go to that component and its name is data visualization click on it so this is added here now we have to select the type so i want to show the horizontal bar or vertical bar whatever you choose once the type is selected you have the option to add the data source so you have the option to add predefined conditions or you can create your own condition from here. Let's select incident.open. Add this source. Let's go to style and make some modifications here. Percentage and then width will be let's say 40%. So you see here it is coming like this because right now we have opted for only true incidents. So that's why it is showing true incidents. And if we come back here, again you see because we have matrix as a count, so that's why it is showing the count that is 50 incident. Okay, so you all know how to style it, how to make it better looking, but this is the use of data visualization. So based on your requirement, use this as much as you want. You can try it. There are n number of types. You can try all the types. Okay, in our next video, we will discuss about data. That is, right now we are using the data static but how to use bind data. We already seen one example, but how to configure the data set will be an interesting thing and we will discuss it in the next video. Till then, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.